getting a massage from a robot. <laughs> oh boy. It's almost like a tree, like things just kind of branched out from it. So it started with yoga and then from yoga I learned more about massage and then I learned about meditation and, and so it's like all these things are connected but it all roots from that feeling of being okay in your body. So I remember when I was 14 and I, and I was, my mom and I would take this yoga class on the oxygen channel and that, that was the only 45 minutes that I felt okay in my body. I was like not, I was, I mean I was in the middle of puberty, I was not feeling okay with myself and then also in the very beginning stages of an eating disorder and just all other stuff and that was the only time that I felt okay. exploring lately is body neutrality so before I would have some sort of pain or maybe I would think that I would look a certain way or whatever and I would have some sort of emotional attachment to that so I've had to move away from that and just kind of come into a neutral space with it with being like oh isn't it interesting that blank right so and a lot of this for me came from the meditation came from sitting and just being with instead of trying to move through it Getting in tune with oneself and learning more about your body is really powerful because when we start, and this is my own experience and I've seen it happen with other people, when we start to tune into what our body likes, dislikes, needs, doesn't need, it filters out through the rest of our life. So when we start to learn what our body likes physically, what do we like to eat, right? Versus like, oh, I think I should eat this because it's healthy or not healthy, or I don't want to eat this because it's not healthy, right? So having some outside influence doesn't really matter. When we really tune into what our body needs, our intuition gets really strong. And that can filter out through relationships. Oh, this relationship isn't actually serving me. I don't really need to be around this person. Or I'm more drawn to this person because we have similar views, right? So. It's, um, it's this kind of magical thing that we can start with ourselves and it can feel like a lot of effort at first because it's literally going against the stream of what society tells us to do, to listen to someone else telling us what the things to do instead of listening to ourselves is really tricky. But once we get into it, it's almost effortless and you, you'll be so surprised by how much more time and, and brain space you have available for literally anything else. <laughs>